Hello, student. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tejas. Hello, Tejas. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, all of you can able to see the screen. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. yes. Uh, this is Dakne, sir. Okay, from the Jagdamba Education Society, SND College of Engineering, and all of you know from the Department of Computer Engineering. Uh, this is our first lecture, and uh, all of you must be aware why we have chosen this platform, as because we cannot gather physically and conduct the classes. But anyhow, the show must go on, and that's why we have chosen this platform to interact with you regarding your first semester of third year. And in this semester. you are now in the middle of your uh, what you can see the degree okay lot of new thing you will learn and that will help you uh, for your future career now in this semester we have the one of the subject that is the information system and the engineering economics now you can see here we have the credits of 3 for this subject uh, as usual we have the in sum paper of 30 marks and the in sum paper of 70 marks now if you observe the our uh, subject name information system and the engineering economics actually this is the combination of two different kind of uh, what you can say the subject or the concept one of that is nothing but information system which consists of our first three unit and second part is the engineering economics am i am i audible to all of you yes sir yes, yes sir yes. yes so now this subject uh, uh, if you see the information system is quite related to our field okay field in the sense uh, the computer science and uh, it but if you observe the second part is engineering economics now this is slightly uh, what you can say irrelevant with our field but even it is not relevant to our field but it is very important if you consider your extra knowledge understood what extra knowledge extra knowledge in the sense what when you see the in the syllabic point you will understand what does it mean so we'll start from the first uh, that is the information system and if you observe the we have the three units related to the information system with some uh, equal weightage like basics of management and theory practices management information system leveraging the information system. now this is the three units for your in sum exam Now, if you uh, observe the next three unit, this is a completely a uh, new field you can observe here. Now, these three units, money and the economic value, economics and the management, understanding the cash flow and the taxes, and that is the reason I use the word. The last three units, the second part of our subject, will give you the some kind of very good extra knowledge apart from the. technical knowledge now you can observe the things here of oh, the meaning of my word extra knowledge like here you are uh, we are going to understand the things related with the economics understood uh, here you can see the time value of money uh, money management uh, things related with the taxes okay cash flows uh, then the things related with the inflation related with the inflation in the sense tejas can you tell me the meaning of word inflation tejas yes anybody can you tell me the meaning of the word inflation akash what is mean by the inflation meaning of the word inflation Hmm? Tanpur Ashwini, any any anything that must be in your mind. Mayur, Wakare Mayur, you can unmute yourself. Mayur, what what does it mean by the word inflation? Yes, Nikita. Cost. Ha. Uh, cost anybody else mayur wakare 
Mayur, then the Gayatri, Gayatri Dighe. Jasmine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just I'm just asking the meaning of the word inflation. Here I have shown uh, this. The general increase in price. In price. Exactly. Who is this? Gayatri Dighe. Gayatri Dighe. Yes. Inflation in the sense. जर मराठी मध्ये सांगायचं झालं तर महागाई काय येस आय होप नाव ऑल ऑफ युअर अंडरस्टूड येस येस सो दिस आर द सम थिंग्स रिलेटेड विथ विच इज बिंग पार्ट ऑफ आवर डेली लाईफ येस ऑर नो दिस आर द थिंग्स रिलेटेड विथ आवर डेली लाईफ दॅट इज नथिंग बट आवर सेकंड हाफ ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टीम अँड इंजिनिअरिंग इकॉनॉमिक्स दिस सेकंड हाफ ऑफ आवर सब्जेक्ट ओके सो दॅट टाइम यू विल सी initially we have to concentrate on the first in what is what what are the concepts of the information system okay now related to this subject uh, i am taking this subject from the last 3 years and i have maintained the ratio of result from 92 to 94 95 last time i have the result of 95 96% okay and uh, i hope you will maintain the ratio same and uh, i will take the effort for that also and i expect the same effort from your side also yes or no yes sir yes sir now related to some common things that you have to follow like you must have the new notebook assigned to this subject yes so from next time i will ask whether you have assigned the notebooks or not and when i am giving the lecture here you can take the notes if you feel that is the important part understood and you have to mention that things in the in that notebook any time in the further lecture i might ask you the photos of that notebook so first task that you need to do after this lecture you must assign the new notebook okay all of you got this yeah yeah yes then sir. then uh, after finishing the we'll discuss the topics uh, point by point and whenever you find the doubt you can raise your hand there is the option is being given or you can uh, ask me regarding that certain doubts okay and uh, one more thing uh, no uh, what we can say the noise i don't want the any kind of noise during the lecture because i am recording this lecture okay what i am recording this lecture and this recording uh, i am going to upload on the youtube also so that in the future if you uh, if you if you think that uh, you need to watch it again you can watch it again also understood so i hope all of you uh, maintain these uh, all procedures rules that i have told you okay now let's uh, start with the our main content i hope you must have understood the point that we have to discuss we will start with the first unit that is the basic of management theory and the practices okay now we have discussed the teaching uh, scheme marking scheme course content etc etc we will discuss the topic uh, point by point now here uh, syllabic points are not too much but the inside contents are more okay completely theoretical part if you see the first half first three units completely theoretical part second half that three units i shown you Uh, related with the engineering economics here fourth fifth and sixth here we have some calculation related part also okay calculation related part also so not too much difficult that time we'll cover that now let's start with the first unit and under each unit you can find the new thing here under each unit uh, we have given the case studies this part can you able to see can you able to see case studies yes sir yes, yes sir case studies yes. case studies means case studies means what now as we are discussing the uh, first unit and in that we are going to discuss the point what exactly mean by the information system okay case studies in the sense a detailed study of some particular uh, example which is now available in the market okay when you see the case studies and uh, when you see the information system that after that we will again discuss the point of the case study what exactly it means studying the uh, 
studying the some particular example which is already available in the market okay or doing the research on that particular uh, uh, what we can say the example for example here we have the case studies information system in the indian railways now indian railways is having the information system available with them and name of that is irctc we'll understand what exactly mean by the information system here i'm just telling you what exactly mean by the case studies okay now to the indian railways they are having the information system and name of that information system is irctc i hope some of you have, some of you have used that also how anybody have used the irctc website anybody of you have used the irctc website of the indian railways kele na use yes anybody as a reservation sathi keleli yes exactly exactly for the purpose of reservation so number of functionality are we are discuss we will discuss that means here we after after studying this whole part see here after studying this whole part we have been asked to study the case study related with what information system of the indian railways and what is the name of the information system available with the indian railways irctc understood we will come to that so here we have been asked after studying all these we must study one case study that is nothing but related with the irctc ki how the irctc comes into the picture what are its benefits to the customer etc etc what are the modules or uh, different types of the uh, irctc components etc that we will see okay now let's start now our first unit uh, uh here uh, by mistaken i have i could not able to change the name here okay uh, but our first unit name is the information system introduction okay now first we understand what exactly mean by the system can anybody tell me the, what is the meaning of the system yes anybody how you can describe the word system yes anybody akash what do you think about the system akash gayatri yes anybody anything that might be in your mind ha ah, yes it is a form set of integrated devices i have also i have also you can you can see here also yes or no set of set of what integrated devices working together set of integrated devices or the interrelated entities now i tell you the example here i have written the exact definition of that also a system is group of interacting or interrelated entities that form a unified as a whole okay and let me tell you the example of for example our college our college also the what what one system yes or no our college i am calling our college as a one system yes or no yes yes yes, yes. yes sir and from from which component it is uh, it has been built just you can see here it is been group of what interrelated entities yes or no so our college is having the different departments yes or no our college yes. different departments are having the different hods there are the yes. student section there is a office section principal section etc etc by combining all these elements or entities together system form as what a unified as a whole that is nothing but the meaning of what a system combination of various kind of entities bind together that is nothing but the system here you can have the definition a system is a group of interacting or interrelated entities that form a unified as a whole 
I hope all of you got the meaning of the system. Uh, yes, Mayur, Mayur. Sir, sir what is meant by the ununified whole? Unified whole means that by combining different, we are calling it as a a single one, a single system. For example, S N D College of Engineering is one single system. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Unified means that combining together. The different thing combining together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For example, our computer system. Yes. Mayur, computer system means our computer system. Yes. Upon, and you can see in the computer system there are the various parts are there. Yes or no? Yes. Which parts are there? There is a uh, RAM is there, CPU is there, hard disk is there, motherboard is there. अतः हे सारे कंपोनेंट एकत्र करने that is the meaning of what? Here I have I am marking here. Can you able to see? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes. The meaning of unified as a whole. Yes. I hope okay, you have got that. Yes. Yes sir. Yes. Sir, yes. yes. Now come to the point of information. We will first understand the term by term, and then we will combine that. Then it will be useful for you. Yes. Now, before we go to the point information, I want to discuss with you three important terms that will that will require us in the further part of this subject. And the three important terms are data, information, and a knowledge. Okay. Number of times you must have uh, used these words, yes or no? Yes. You must have heard these words like data, information, knowledge, etc. But there is a specific difference between these three, three different terms that we never able to uh, uh, focus on that. Understood? Now there is an exact difference between these terms. What exactly mean by the data? Then what mean by the information? And what do you mean by the knowledge? First, we discuss what exactly mean by the data. Now here you can read easily. Data is what? It is a facts, figure, or raw form of contents without added meaning or analysis. It is a fact or the raw facts. Raw fact means what? R A W. Raw facts. Or fact. Fact in the sense something. Facts. Meaning of the fact is was anything. Understood. Figures, numbers. Raw form. What is mean by the raw form? Can anybody tell me, Mayur? What is mean by the raw form? Uh, raw. Raw means. We are not. Uh, it's the original form, like means unprocessed. Um, unprocessed, which is not, unprocessed, which is not processed. So that is the meaning of raw yes. form. Something which is unprocessed. Unprocessed. Understood. And so yes. that things are referred as a data, raw facts, figures, which is present in the raw form, which is not having any kind of meaning, which is nothing but the useless. What I am calling it as a. Useless. I am calling the raw form as what? Useless. Yes. And for example, here I have given the example of, for example, data. I have given here some figures. Can all? I think. Uh, I hope all of you are able to see. I am marking here. 132 by 90, 140 by 90, 160 by 100, 170 by 100. I have written some figures. Yes. What does it mean? Can anybody tell me the meaning of this? No. There is a no meaning associated with this. These are the simple what, the original figures, in the raw form. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Yes. But next, we get some reference related to this. What? We get some reference, or we add some context to that raw form data. That is, I have written here data plus some context. Context in the sense some reference. Or some meaning understood. What we have the data present this. Okay, as I written here, data plus I have add some context to it. Means what? I have add some reference to it. Means what reference I have add? Here I have add the reference to it that these readings which is you can see here. These are the readings 
indicating the levels of blood pressure all of you agree hello yeah i am yes sir. i we are attaching to these particular numbers what reference we are attaching these readings are nothing but readings of what blood pressure of some some x y z person these are what blood pressure levels of some x y z persons you must be knowing the this being considered as a highest low highest low highest low that kind of things okay these are the four readings of blood pressure of some patients okay now how this raw form of data become the information here i have written the definition of the information it is the data see here it is the data that has been interpreted and analyzed so that it has some meaning for the user what a raw form of data when get interpreted or analyzed now simply meaning of interpretation and analyze nothing but processing these particular data by attaching some reference to that by attaching some context to that and what context we are adding to that these are the readings of what blood pressure of some xyz person yes or no yes yes sir yes and after applying this context to this raw data we come to know about raw data is get process with some reference and this figures indicate now blood pressure reading and when you attach some reference to this raw form of data then this raw data becomes what this raw data become the information what it becomes information, information. now we have the information what there is a xyz person whose blood pressure levels are like this understood what information we are having there is a xyz person whose blood pressure levels are like this now you you must have understood how the data has become the information yes all of you understood how the data has become the information yes yes sir, yes. Yes, sir. after attaching some reference some after reference in the sense when you process it then it becomes some information and what reference and how what analysis we have done these are nothing but the blood pressure levels now from data we come to the information yes now come to the next point knowledge first read the definition then we will come to the we carry on the same example it is combination of information and experience that may be benefit the individual or the organization what it is the knowledge is what combination of information and experience that may be benefit the individual or the organization i have written in the another th form knowledge is nothing but the information plus some rules what knowledge is nothing but what some information plus rules becomes your knowledge or it can be described in the another form ability to use information and applying the information to create some new information new valuable information it is what ability to use the information and ability to apply that information to create some new information now how we are using and applying that information see here with the same example when when the doctor xyz after getting the information as blood pressure readings he understand that the patient the patient consider the patient as some abc person as a patient patient blood pressure has reached to the dangerous level yes or no this blood pressure you can see the completely increasing order 132 140 160 170 all of you are agree yes sir yes so yes, doctor sir. understand what some abc person blood pressure from the from from what he understand from the blood pressure readings yes or no from what he understand from the blood pressure readings so here blood pressure reading acting as a what information information yes or no yes or no okay. yes exactly yes. and then see what he does so he used the blood pressure reading as a information and from that he got the idea he know that the person 
blood pressure has reached to the dangerous level and by using his own experience using his own education using his rules on that particular information he gives some prescribed medicine to the patient what he does he gives some prescribed medicine to the patient and this particular thing after having the information of a blood pressure reading of the patient doctor uses his experience and gives some medicine to the patient so that is nothing but the called as what the knowledge no. you got the point guys yes sir you yes, got sir. the point what is exactly yes, mean by the knowledge जो आपके yes, पास yes, पहले इन्फॉर्मेशन yes, अवेलेबल है उस इन्फॉर्मेशन पर आप क्या करते हो आप सम रूल्स अप्लाई करते हो अपना एक्सपीरियंस यूज करते हो अपना एजुकेशन यूज करते हो और उसके बाद आप कुछ एक्शन लेते हो दैट इज नथिंग बट द कॉड एज वॉट द नॉलेज आई होप ऑल ऑफ यूर गॉट द कंसेप्ट मयूर यस वन मोर एग्जाम्पल आई विल शो यू okay one more example i wish you that quite related to us see here now here i have taken the one more can you able to see the i have changed the screen yes sir yes sir yeah, i have yes, taken sir. some data as a raw fact figures i have taken the some names ram sham vaibhav madhav sachin okay and below that i have written some uh, another uh, data i have taken as a uh, numbers 1 3 4 5 2 like this can anybody tell me the meaning of this no is it can can we do some interpretation from this no no okay then i organize this data what i will do i will just organize this data by processing this see how i have done, how, how i have done this i have organized data by processing processing and organizing of raw facts how i have organized it i have add some more reference context to that data what context i have added roll number and the roll number and the student. name of student name of the student now is this the useful one yes yes, yes sir. so to the raw data you add some you added some context that's why i have written the data plus context become the information, information. understood now so this is nothing but the kind of information what 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 information you are getting the roll number 1 is belongs to the ram 3 is belong to the vaibhav 5 is belong to the sachin like this understood yes yes sir okay now uh, i don't know somebody is doing it uh, intentionally or what somebody is uh, using the their notepad okay if you have any doubt you can ask me directly uh, this kind of things okay here uh, got the second part information with the example yes sir yes now come yes, to the sir. now come to the knowledge adding some rules to the information knowing from that knowing something valuable and important i have processed that previous information whatever with us i have processed it more i have added some more reference to that what i have done roll number name of the student and i have added one more reference to that average marks can you able to see this yes sir yes, yes sir and now i on this i apply the rules now to the given information if the given information can get processed with some additional parameters like uh, here here is not the attendance here you have to take the marks okay and here if you apply some rules some experience or some uh, education like only students above the 50% can appear for the campus interview of some xyz company aaple kade je information hoti tyachyavar apan kay kela ek rule apply kela what rule we applied the students which is having who is having the 50% marks can appear for the campus interview and after applying that rule what we get to know we came to know that only the ram sham and sachin yes what only the ram sham and sachin can appear for the campus interview of xyz company because only the ram sham ram sham and sachin only having the marks above the 
got the second example yes, yes sir. sir yes so that is nothing but the exact aplyala kasa vatte ki ha three term apan number of times we use these three terms interchangeably barobar na interchangeably in the sense sometimes we used to term data instead of information sometimes we used to term uh, uh, information information instead of knowledge understood but these three different these different three terms are having the specific meaning with itself yes or no yes yes so you must keep in your you must keep in your mind these examples in the in the in your future also even after you complete the degree also this concept must be with you ki what exactly the difference between the data information and information. the knowledge understood so simply i repeat it once again what it is the fact data is the fact figure out the raw form of contents without any added meaning or the analysis when you add some context to that when you add some meaning to that here i have written the data plus context then it become the information and when you use that information with some rules that information becomes what knowledge, knowledge. exactly so so before we move forward to the actual contents these are on these two marks notes have been asked number of times in the in same exam explain the data information and knowledge with example two marks notes knowledge two marks notes is being asked number of times okay now come to the our point of the information system still i i don't want to go to the definition of the information system before we go to the information system once one example which is uh, related with the uh, our concept that i want to clear here and then we see the from that we'll see the definition of ex, uh, information system okay we'll make the definition will not the definition which is being present in the book we'll make our definition okay take the example here there is a manufacturing industry okay there is a one particular manufacturing industry is there now you must be knowing each manufacturing industries are having the different departments with them yes or no yes, yes. like departments can be a reception department accounting department sales department finance okay. department accounting and the hr department there might be the more also we are just seeing as a for example okay now these departments are having their different roles yes or no yes yes, yes. for example reception used to welcome the whatever the customer will come or the employee will come and uh, uh, make their attendance etc accounting things related with the money man yeah. uh, money management sales uh, related with the selling the products finance related with the uh, also providing the money uh, i think accounting has been repeated yes and lastly mm -hmm. the hr human resource department okay now consider here we have to consider one example suppose uh, mayur mayur started his business mayur started his business of uh, manufacturing the spare parts of the car mayur are you with me mm -hmm. sir yes sir for example you started the manufacturing of the spare parts and with your and with your company with your company these different departments are there okay and recently you started your business and you you recruited the different person for your business okay now each of these each of these departments we have the different person who are working there okay now for example sure. we take the example of reception department and the sales department what reception department and the sales department okay now initially we have to imagine now there is a no presence of the computers okay. uh, all of you with me Com yes, computers are not available yes, for our use computers are not available 
now the person who is seated at the reception department he has to make one register yes or no yes the yes, person sir. who is seated at the accounting department he has to make one register yes sir yes sir i hope all of you are getting the meaning of the word register uh, the uh, large notebook big notebook yes sir yes, sir. person who is seated at the sales finance accounting all of them have to maintain one register okay right sir. right then the person who are seated at the reception department will make the entry of the employee whenever the entry uh, employee will come to the company he will make the entry of the employee as their attendance okay yes register which is present at the sales department here person will make the entry of how many items has been sold today yes or no yes sir likewise he has to maintain the record of each and every day am i correct कि एक तारखेला किती आयटम सेल झाले दोन तारखेला थर्ड फोर्थ लाईक वाईज हि हॅव टू मेंटेन द रेकॉर्ड हाव मेनी आयटम हॅज बीन सेल अकॉर्डिंगली अकाउंटिंग डिपार्टमेंट हॅज ऑल्सो मेंटेन द रजिस्टर विच विल नोट डाऊन हाव मेनी हाव मच मनी दे हॅव गिवन टू द डिफरंट डिपार्टमेंट हाव मच मनी दे हॅव स्पेंड ऑन द एम्प्लॉई एम्प्लॉई सॅलरी एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा ऑल ऑफ यू गॉट now after 5 months or after 1 year understand the situation after 5 months 1 year for example after 1 year i i go to the company of mayur are you getting the situation i i go to the company of mayur and i ask the mayur mayur tell me mayur tell me there is a item number 1 2 3 4 5 there is item number spare parts item there is item number 1 2 3 4 5 i asked the mayur mayur tell me item number 1 2 3 4 5 how many times this item has been sale in one month or in the one year or in the specific month if i ask the mayur mayur tell me in the month of august in the month of august item number how many times the item number 1 2 3 4 5 uh, has been sale what mayur will do mayur tell me the answer sir i will search for all these all that items first you will you will you will, will, will take time you will do the inquiry to the sales department yes sir what the sales department person will do per sales department person will search the register yes sir mm-hmm. so what is the disadvantage of that time he might he might, more he, time he might required more time to search ki baba if i ask in the august month then he might go to the august month uh, record and then he calculate and then, he, then he calculate all these things then he tell you that mayur this the item number 1 2 3 4 5 has been sale 100 times like that yes or no? yeah, yes sir yes so likewise if you do the inquiry to the any department like uh, whatever the things they are maintaining because of Get maintaining the matter. because of the maintaining the register there is a huge time conjunction will be there yes sir there will be the wastage of efforts will be there yes sir and yes, consider sir. the situation the fire the fire happens in your company what fire fire explosion happen in your company will this all the registers will be safe or not not no we can't say but more chances are that the different register that you have used there to maintain the records they might be get burn out yes yes yes, yes sir consider under another situation somebody some thieves some thieves attack on your company thieves manje chor yes sir they might steal your records no sir thief can say anything yes or no the thief can steal anything yes. can... so there might be a chances of there might be a chances of what destruction of these records yes or no in the different situation fire or any natural calamity 
there might be chances of odd destruction of these records yes or no yes yes, yes but yes, now we'll, we'll go to the point uh, afterwards ata he je sagle department ahet they are maintaining the register and they are maintaining something in that register am i right Yes, sir. For example, reception yeah. department maintaining the entry of customers, entry, entry of employee, employee account department, expenditure, sales, how many items sales, finance related with the money management, HR, how many persons newly recruited, how many persons fire, like that kind of things. Means what? Using that registers, you are collecting some information and storing the information. Am I right? Yes, sir. you are collecting some information and storing that information got the point yes sir yes, these two words collection and the storage keep in mind collection and the storage storage when i ask the mayur tell me mayur how many times the item 1235 has been sale when i ask the mayur how many times item 12345 has been sale then that information which is being stored in the sale register that information will get processed or not if i ask the mayur tell me how many times items 1235 has been sale then what will the person who is who is handling the sale register he will he will process that register or not uh, yes he will he will search that register means nothing but the he will search that register means nothing but the processing the register am i right am i right yes sir बरोबर मग प्रोसेस झाल्यानंतर तो काय करेल संबड हॅज आस्क टेल मी द हाऊ मेनी आयटम्स हॅज बीन सेल तो काय करेल तो इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर एक्झाम्पल मयूर काय करेल तो इन्फॉर्मेशन मला देईल एम आय राईट वेन द मयूर गिव्ह मी दॅट इन्फॉर्मेशन दॅट इज नथिंग बट द टेक्निकल वर्ड फॉर दॅट द डिस्ट्रीब्युशन Ah, yes sir yes can i use the word distribution for that yes and when the mayur employee who is working at the sale department he is searching the register can i use the word processing for that yes sir exactly and that is nothing but the traditional information system that is nothing but what traditional traditional information information system, system which we can now define now collection storage processing and the distribution of information is nothing but called as what the information system am i right yes sir all of you got all of you got the definition yes sir yes. Let, let me take you to the bookish definition information system can be defined as technically as a set of interrelated components ata he set of interrelated components manje kutle he different depart departments departments and the persons who are working there and register who are been kept there am i right yes, yes sir also the people who are working there they are also comes in the components yes oh, yes we call it organizational system sir yes what hmm. uh, that components we can call organization system yes you can call it no problem जे कोणी तिथं काम करत आहे जे जे ज्या काही गोष्टी तिथं यूज होत आहे मग रजिस्टर म्हणा नोटबुक म्हणा जे काय असेल ते सगळ्या गोष्टी कंपोनंट्स मध्ये येते ओके सेट ऑफ इंटर रिलेटेड कंपोनंट दॅट कलेक्ट प्रोसेस स्टोअर अँड डिस्ट्रीब्युट द इन्फॉर्मेशन टू सपोर्ट द डिसिजन मेकिंग अँड कंट्रोल इन द ऑर्गनायझेशन नाव यू गॉट द डेफिनेशन फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टँड द एक्झाम्पल अँड देन वी कम टू द डेफिनेशन all of you got the definition of information system concept of the information yes, system sir. i hope yes sir so yes, sir. after after suppose now if the mayur want to make some decision suppose mayur want to make some decision like what uh, mayur want to know uh, attendance of some employee xyz employee okay so he he asked to the hr department he asked to the hr department uh, what is the performance what is the performance of xyz employee uh, and uh, what is the what is the attendance yes who is this mute your mic okay if 
mayur asked to the hr department ki how many uh, what is the performance of xyz employee and hr department will convey that convey that information to the mayur that xyz employee performance is not good he is not also coming to the company regularly now from that what decision mayur can take yes mayur are you with me yes sir if you found some of some of some of our employee is not having the good performance not coming to the uh, company for working regularly what you will do i will remove him yeah yeah it uh -huh. depends it is depends on the nature you might fire that employee what sir you you can fire that fire means uh, yes, remove yes sir, yes yeah. yes, yes means sir. you are making some decision there i am marking here yes sir. yes yes so information system along with supporting in the different field it is also supporting you to make the decision to make the coordination yes or no yes sir yes sir control so these are nothing but the all the things with the help of the information system you can do ata he sagal mi tumhala traditional information system baddal explain karto i still i still have not moved to the computerized information system am i right yes sir yes sir ata right. ata if you if you uh, if you uh, think about the period before the 20 years back before the 20 years back where there was no uh, huge amount of saturation of computer system in the businesses that time there was no way of uh, 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 apart from maintaining the register but nowadays from last 10 years there is a huge saturation of the computers are there we are living in the digital world yes or no right yes sir yes and there comes our computerized information system let me let me tell you the definition a computerized information system is a system composed of people and the computers that process or interpret the information am i right is this definition completely relevant or not Yes, computer sir. system is composed of what people and the computers computer mata yes. computer ata mag tyache in case of that computers might have the different components it the hardware ale barobar they might be next uh, we have the point of study component of the information system aplyala next lecture madhe to hai components of what information system. but here you have to compare the traditional information system and the computerized information system there is a no difference in the definition working of the traditional information system and the computerized information system is the same only the components will be changed am i right yes sir the place of the register will be taken by the computers yes or no yes and sir along with the computer along with the computers different terms come ata mag along with the computers which are the different components that we will see but concept of the information system remains the same here just i want to make the one point clear ki difference ka hai ki uh, uh, traditional information system che kay disadvantages asu shaktat ani computerized information system che kay advantage aplyala asu shaktat yes or no now you can easily compare this kind of information system and tell me the advantage disadvantage okay now first you tell me the disadvantage of traditional information system Oh, it is time consuming. Time consuming, might be the threat of uh, security. Security. No yes, backup. Sir. No backup, etc., etc. Lot of lot of no. disadvantages are there. Yes or no? Now tell me the advantages of computerized information system. It is faster. It is more relevant. Uh, time consumption will be less. Less. Then. processing will we be fast processing will be faster or not yes faster exactly accuracy then again will be increase accuracy Secure. accuracy will definitely get increase so there are many more many more advantages are there threats is also there because none of the system comes with only advantages am i right yes yes threats is related to the on cyber security that kind of things are there we will come to that point afterwards but 
I want to make you one point clear here. The what exactly mean by the information system? It is what the set of interrelated components. At the component put le, he me to mala traditional information system madhe sangit le. Ani computerized information system madhe main component put la computer. Computer. Ani thechhe sub component hai. Thi apun next lecture madhe discuss karna rao. Understood? Yes, sir. So you must keep in mind the information system can be technically defined as set of interrelated components that collect, process, store, and the distribute the information to support the decision making. Uh, then for coordination, for controlling, etc., etc. Is this point clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, below, I have mentioned the same example that we have discussed uh, by using the name of Mayur. your friend had started a business and put all his vendor 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 means what vendor oh, yes anybody vendor marathi madhe sanga seller vendor means seller vikreta 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 exactly कि आता मयूर की कंपनी है स्पेयर स्पेयर पार्ट्स बनवना की बरबर तो मयूर लाई ला गोषी मयूर माइट नीड टू परचे समथिंग फ्रॉम अनदर वेंडर ये सर नो सो दैट रेकॉर्ड आल्सो दैट रेकॉर्ड आल्सो हैज टू बी कीप इन वेयर इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टीम बरबर यस मयूर not only the customer information but information related with the vendors also has to be keep in your information system i just i just read the same example that we have uh, discussed your friend has started a business and put all his vendor and customer information on a register his business become successful and he has he has register piling up piling up manje kay ki bharpur register tayar jale barobar na बिजनेस जर वाढला तर कस्टमर जास्त येतील इन्फॉर्मेशन जी तुमच्या रजिस्टर मध्ये एंट्री होणार आहे ती काय होईल जास्त होईल नंबर ऑफ रजिस्टर आर गेटिंग पायलिंग अप वेन एव्हर ही वॉन्ट टू लुक अप टू व्हेंडर ऑर अ कस्टमर ही हॅज टू रीड द व्हेरियस रजिस्टर बरोबर मयूर हॅज टू रीड द व्हेरियस रजिस्टर वन डे समोन आस हिम हाऊ मेनी टाइम लास्ट मंथ कस्टमर ऑर्डर द आयटम वन टू थ्री फोर फाईव्ह सिक्स द सेम एक्झाम्पल ही सेज ही विल हॅव टू लुक इन एव्हरी रजिस्टर टू फाइंड आउट that someone then someone then someone then recommended to the mayur if you use the information system now this information system has what if you use the computerized information system you could type few things on your keyboard you can just by hitting the enter button you can get all the information available or not forever na yes instead of putting the information in the register if you put your information on the computer system computerized by using the information system you you can by using the keyboard you can just by by using the search button you can search whatever the information you want and you can get the record within a less than second below i have also mentioned regarding the threats of the traditional information system and like if your house or the company get burned you will still have all the information you need uh now here one point now related to the uh, natural calamity of uh, burning of uh, suppose fire explosion in your company consider you are using what kind of information system computerized mayur kutli information system yes, computerized even the even the fire takes place computer will get destroyed you are getting what i am saying ha yes computer will get destroyed but if you have used the online information system means what there are the two kinds of information system can be utilized by the company offline and the online online offline manje ka hai je information system je software hai te tumcha locally computer varas asel barobar tyacha jo data hai to kuthe share honar nahi hai online share honar nahi hai online manje kuthe jar if you have purchase some uh, क्लाउड स्टोरेज क्लाउड स्टोरेज जर ऑफलाइन ऑफलाइन तो क्लाउड स्टोरेज वर स्टोर हो नो बट इफ इट इज ऑनलाइन देन इट विल जस्ट वेन एवर यू मेक द एंट्री इट विल गेट स्टोर ऑन द क्लाउड स्टोरेज इट्स और नो 
uh, now it is depends yes. on the company whether company is using the offline information system or company is using the online, online information, information system if the company is using the online information system if your com explosion happens in your company your computer get destroyed even then this all the information can be available with you yes or no yes sir Uh, yes, yes that i have mentioned below and even if you someone try to steal your computers they, then also uh, it doesn't matter if you are having your system on the uh, 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 online so now that things i have mentioned the same example i have carry on below no need to go for that so that is nothing but our today's point of the study what is actually been by the data information knowledge and what is the concept of what information system in that also we have studied the traditional traditional whenever i will use the word traditional you have to uh, understand it is the uh, information system without computers barobar yes sir yes whenever i simply use the word information system that time you have to uh, take the meaning of that is what computerized information system understood and yes, in the now onwards we are going to focus only on the computerized information system only okay got the point yes okay sir so, so uh, you further uh, you further can uh, study this whatever things we have discussed today i will put the same video on the youtube also and i will share uh, this uh, link of that in your whatsapp group uh, you can watch the video you can take the notes from that okay because next lecture i will ask the question on whatever things we have discussed today okay also uh, if you like the video you can share that video with your other college friends also understood yes and uh, yes, if you if you any doubt you can mention somebody might not ask in the doubt uh, in the online session if you any doubt you can mention the in the comment section uh, after after i upload the video on the youtube okay okay sir okay okay now here i want to uh, uh, conclude today uh, any difficulty uh, you are facing here might be the uh, our uh, connection uh, voice etc etc that you can share with me so that uh, we can do the improvement on that or everything is okay mayur Sir, voice is very fluctuating. Voice is fluctuating. That is because of the network. Okay, when the uh, net connection goes high, slow, that because of that voice fluctuation fluctuation might happen. That's why I am uploading the same video on the YouTube. On the YouTube, you you will not you will not observe the fluctuation because I am recording this part here. Okay, sir. Yeah. Uh, okay. Day by day, we will make the improvement. definitely now we have the some barriers uh, related to the networks etc etc what the point mr yes sir uh, next time yes, we'll sir. understand some uh, example of uh, uh, information system and components of the information system. okay oh.